For the first time, the call to prayer will be played over loudspeakers in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood five times a day for the next 30 days. Many of us have never heard the Muslim call to prayer before. The holy month of Ramadan begins tonight, and this year you'll hear one tradition in parts of Minneapolis. And don't forget to donate guys, I'm collecting for a girls school in Gambia. Yes, we do need to invest in our sisters our mothers and our wives and their education. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to a very surprising episode of Smile to Jannah. Douche! Smile to Jannah. <laughs> it first happened in Germany where during the Covid crisis they played the Adhan on the loudspeaker such that it caused the streets nearby to come to a standstill. People left their cars, people started recording on their phones they were shocked that in the history of Germany, during such a crisis, the Adhan, the glorification of Allah could be heard on the streets of a non-Muslim country. Then a few weeks later, in Italy, the Quran was read in the streets of Italy. People that had lived in Carpi for years were shocked and surprised at the U-turn that this city had taken during this supposed dark crisis. But remember, it's from the darkness that light emerges. It's only through the darkness of the night do we appreciate the stars. Imagine if there were stars out now during the day, you would be able to see or appreciate it. I don't know about you, but sometimes even when I'm walking down the street, you can see the moon slightly, but it's not that remarkable or amazing. It is at night when it, everything else is dark. I guess through the darkness of the Covid crisis, we are seeing the stars from these uh, instances. I did not expect the Adhan to take place in the United oh, States of America. Yeah, you heard me, the land where Donald Trump tried to ban Muslims from entering. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. That very land where the leader himself has said, I think Islam hates us. It is in the night of this land, yeah, the stars have emerged. Yes, indeed. In Minnesota, the Muslims there requested the local mayor if they could do the Adhan on the loudspeaker for the local community in the month of Ramadan for the five daily prayers. And the mayor said yes. So whether you're Muslim or Jewish or Christian or you name it, uh, we want you to be able to practice your traditions and your religion uh, from a remote location. Allah The local population are mostly Somalian and Kenyans and you know people from the Horn of Africa. So I'm assuming majority are Muslim anyway, but even the fact that the local population is cool with that. And I guess one of the main reasons that it was allowed was because every community is suffering through this crisis, especially during Ramadan where Muslims are feeling it the most, they can't go to the mosque and you know Ramadan is about community you know, doing iftars together, you go to somebody else's house, they come to your house, you go to the mosque, you come back from the mosque, you know, you pray your salahs in the mosque. So the fact that that is not happening now, and it's so cool that the mayor of that local area allowed them to do this and understood this spiritual crisis of the Muslims. I think it's brilliant. People are going to open their windows, anticipate the call, and really feel that tranquility and the connection. And it also goes to show, 
that whilst other Muslims are just lying on their backside saying Oh the day of judgment is coming, all the signs are there, oh this is happening, yeah what can we do, yeah just, just make dua. On the other hand you have people of action, people that are working and through the bleakest of times they have managed to do something that people like me scratching their heads like how on earth did they manage to do that? It's remarkable and I guess a scholar said aptly we are in need of people of action and that's why when Ali radiallahu an he became the Khalifa he ascended the pulpit. He ascended the pulpit and his only words were you are in need of a rajulun fa'al la qawwahr. You are in need of a man of action not a person who just speaks and today we have loads of people who just speak and very few people of action. There's, there's a hadith that says even if the day of judgment is approaching finish planting that seed but you're not going to see it flower but you'll be rewarded for your intention. You know a building's on fire, a thousand people inside. Yeah of course you can't save a thousand people even if you save five, even if you save ten. Oh yeah I'll save fifteen. Do what you can and you know what when stuff like this happens it really makes me think yeah and it should make us think that we're worried about oh my god I can't find somebody to get married, I can't find, my, uh, I can't get a good job, I can't get into that uh, university for that course, I'm not getting the grades. Look do your best, do your best then Allah will do the rest. Trust in what Allah then decides. Who knows if you were to go to this university or this college you may go on a tangent that may spoil your life. Who knows if you get that job, you might be the biggest snob in the area and lose all your friends and end up depressed. Who knows if you get married to that particular woman, you may get divorced after a year and that's it, your life is finished. You know a heartbreak is no joke. Yes Allah saved Ibrahim when he landed in the fire, yes Allah saved Ismail from the knife, Allah saved Isa from being crucified. We have all these examples and mashallah I'm sure they do affect us but every now and then I love it when Allah throws a curveball and this is a curveball and Allah, Allah showing us. He's saying look you're worried about your marriage? I can do much grander things. What's your marriage? The state of a believer is a jeep. You do your best yeah for whatever's in your control you do your best and then leave the rest to Allah trust then it's trust. Whatever happens this world is short anyway, what's the worst that can happen? Ask Allah for patience, ask Allah for strength, ride through the waves and then inshaAllah <laughs> you know what I'm saying the hereafter, the Jannah that awaits. And it's very remarkable guys that <laughs> the story of Musa salam, where Allah raised Musa salam, in the hands of the very person that was trying to kill him, the Pharaoh. And similarly the very leader that is trying to expel Muslims, that's trying to you know spread a hate against the Muslims. I think Islam hates us. The very people in his land, mashallah Allah is using them to spread his name in the streets of that very land. So may Allah give us the tawfiq and the ability to draw lessons from these uh, instances and may it make our faith stronger and may Allah make us people of action and not people who just complain. You gotta be a positive, look for the positive in things. If you're constantly complaining and moaning and groaning naturally you're going to wither away like a plant that's receiving no nourishment and no water. You need the water of positivity to perk your leaves up. Alright guys until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.